Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It is 6 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, this is the third of three videos today. I hope you guys are watching them all. They're all kind of connected. Um, this is a tough one. I've been, I, I've been wanting to make this video for two, two, at least two weeks now. And I'm very hesitant to make it. And I'll tell you why. You guys know that I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy. I believe in the truth. Um, I believe a lot of conspiracy theories uh, and the, the, the rise of conspiracy theories today are just people fearing um, the Dunning-Kruger effect. Not fearing the Dunning-Kruger effect, but people just fearing uncertainty and the Dunning-Kruger effect. Um, and <laughs> Hollywood movies, <laughs> honestly. Uh, the Matrix and all sorts of movies like that. Um, but anyway, I want to talk to you guys about the virus, the COVID-19 virus, okay, and what I've observed. Now, I'm hesitant to say this, but I, I've got to speak up. I really think there's other people, I believe there's other people that are seeing this, but they can't prove it yet. I don't know. I believe it might become a big story in the next month. COVID-19. Okay, you guys know, I've talked about how I look at world meters. I'll put the, the link down below. It's a worldwide, uh, worldwide meters on everything that's going on in the world. Uh, how many people are born every minute? How many people die every minute across the entire world? Uh, how many newspapers are sold? Just all sorts of actual facts from the whole entire world uh, in real time, constantly updated. It's a, an amazing site. It's not a political site by any means. It's just statistics, and it's amazing. COVID-19 has been on there, state by state, all the statistics, okay? We've seen the, this, this uh, second wave uh, continuation uh, when we reopened on, Jan on June 1st. I'm going to put the link for world meters down below. These are all stats, real stats. And you can see on June 1st how this we started going back up again, both in deaths and both in, in new cases per day. Okay? And you see this, this the, the, uh, both of these, well, the new cases doubled. It went from the highest number of, say, 38,000 new cases a day back in March or April. And about... A month ago, it hit a, a high of about 78,000 new cases per day. The deaths have been increasing over the last um, over the last month, month, two months. All right, since around the end of June, June 15th for the new cases to June 30th for the the daily deaths. These numbers have been declining again. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm very happy to see COVID-19, the deaths, um, the new cases going down by any means, by any real means. And this is what I'm getting at. I'll just get to the point here. The Trump administration took over control of these numbers. We know this. On June, on Wednesday, Wednesday, July 15th, okay, well, I'm sorry, I, I got, the, I got the, the, the month wrong, July, when I said June before, July 15th, the Trump administration took over control of reporting of the deaths and new cases, all the hospitals and, and, and everything. We're supposed to now report, not to the CDC, but to the Health and Human Services uh, under the Trump administration in control of this information. Since then, and Trump has said, he said, this is, well, I'll continue on. So they've taken control of these numbers. And subsequently, shortly right after that, these numbers have started to decline. Um, it's a good thing, yes. I, I don't want to see people die. I don't want to see people get the virus. But what I can't figure out is, with Sturgis this week, We've got 250,000 bikers, almost none of them wearing masks, all packed together. A super spreader event. And let's see if the numbers continue, continue to go down. Uh, this doesn't make sense. Uh, we have Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burks coming out, talking about how the deaths could, could double and triple in the coming months. 
And we see the reports from Florida, from Texas. So there's no beds left. They're out of ICU beds and everything. The actual stuff happening in these right live in these particular areas. But for some reason, in world meters and other places, the numbers are going down. How can that be? Just when, just shortly after Trump took control, the Trump administration, Health and Human Services, took control of these numbers, we see these numbers going down now. Um, then, so so what what goes along with this? Uh, there's the the fact that Trump has continually said that someday this virus is just going to disappear. Uh, and he keeps repeating it. And he, and he just, the last thing, he, last time he said, he said, uh, sooner or later, I'm going to be right. Just after him and his administration took control of all this information, the reporting of these deaths and new cases on July 15th, they did start to go down for no apparent reason, for no apparent reason whatsoever. I haven't seen one reason why this would be. Um, I, I don't think people are suddenly... Uh, paying attention and wearing masks and doing the right thing now in, in the southern states and in the west in the south, southwest where these cases are prevalent um not to the extent that we see the numbers drop all of a sudden right after july 15th right after the trump administration took control of these numbers okay so do i have any proof actual proof on this no it's just i i don't see any valid reason why these numbers have gone down over the last two or three weeks, I see the fact that Trump ins insists that the numbers are wrong, that testing is, is, is showing too, this insane claim that the testing is actually the testing, that if we didn't pay attention to the actual numbers, they'd go away. And I'll be damned, that's exactly what's happening now that he's took control of the numbers. Imagine that. You know, I don't have proof on this and I don't like... I really don't feel comfortable coming out in here and saying it, but it's gotten to the point where I have to say it. I think there's a lot of other people that see this happening too, and they don't want to come out and say it without proof. Um, but it's gotten to the point where I have to say something. What topped it off was again on the 7th of this month, August 7th, Trump came out and was talking about the way we're looked at across the world. And he said... Pretty much it before, he said, don't pay attention to your eyes and ears. Don't pay attention to the media. Believe what I say. He's, he said that. Almost verbatim. On the 7th, he said, uh, I know we don't look, you don't, you don't feel, and it doesn't look like we're respected amongst the world, but we are. Believe me. Don't pay attention to your eyes and ears. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Another check mark in the idea that he has somehow there's a connection between the, these numbers going down and Trump taking control of these numbers and saying that magically they're going to go down. I you know, like I said, I could be wrong and uh, I'm sounding like a I'm sounding like a big uh, tinfoil hat conspiracy wearing uh, tinfoil wearing hat conspiracy theorist myself right now. But I had to say something because I keep seeing this and there's no explanation for it. Check it out yourself. I'm going to put the link to World Meters again down below. Check out what I'm saying. Right after July 15th, when the Trump administration took control of these numbers, you can check it all out. Shortly after, you see these numbers, both the daily deaths and the daily new cases start to drop right after July 15th, right after Trump took control of these numbers. These numbers that he said would magically disappear one day. And he continues to say, don't believe, don't believe what you see in here. Don't believe your eyes and ears. Believe what I'm telling you. I hope it's not true. I do. I, I, I hope I'm wrong. Check it out yourself. There's the link to World Meters. Check it out below. You guys have a good Sunday.